a lot of you suggested to make a video about crows. Today we want to make a video about that and get to know everything about this amazing bird. We have all types of crows and ravens and they live everywhere humans live. This bird, being one of the smartest creatures on earth, made it get a bad name. This bird is the smartest bird on the planet and being this smart caused it to have a bad name in the world. You could find negative stories about this bird in pretty much every culture. Some say this animal is the devil. Some say it came from hell. Some people say it brings bad luck. But you guys have to know that these are all fake and they have nothing to do with crows. A crow is just a clever little bird. All black color and the stealing it does and having a deep tone in its voice caused it for everybody to be afraid of it. But since science took over in this era, people realize that this is just a normal bird. It's just an opportunist and a smart bird. And if you hear its voice, it's kind of cute. One of the coolest thing a crow does is that it picks a partner and stays with them for the rest of its life. She's Augusta von Bayern. She has a PhD in biology and crows. One of the amazing things about this bird is that it has a really sharp eye. If it's sitting on your left and you look towards the right with your eyeball, this bird can detect where you're looking and where your eyeball is located. A crow's eye is similar to a human eye and it pretty much has the same layout as a human eye. And when scientists want to examine its eye, it's a lot easier than other birds. In England, when there was a group of crows flying around, instead of saying it's a group of crows, they would say it's a murder of crows. But they don't really believe in that anymore. If you're just chilling by your window and you put a piece of wood in front of the window and look at the piece of food, a crow will approach you, but it realizes that you're looking at the piece of food. And that is why he approaches slowly. As it's looking out for you, it slowly gets closer and closer to the tree. Then it picks it up and books it. But if you look towards the left, the crow realizes that you're looking another direction and calmly takes the treat and runs away. And you can't find this in any other bird. There's no other bird that can look at your eyes and notice where you're looking. Back in the day they would say, why is there crows in the graveyard? These are the devil birds. But now we realize that there is all types of birds in a graveyard because it's a pretty green area and the birds can easily find the food they're looking for in these types of areas. But when the crows are around, you don't really pay attention to the other birds because they take all the attention usually. Another reason that this bird has a bad name is that just like a vulture, it eats dead animals, even dead humans. Because in old warfare, when there was a lot of dead bodies, you would find crows next to the vultures. If you could turn a crow into a pet, it would be the smartest bird in the world because it's very strategic and doesn't do anything without a plan. And unlike other birds, it doesn't put itself in danger for some food. Just like we said, a crow eats anything. You can go from insects, worms, fruits, meat, and anything it finds. Just like parrots, crows can copy humans. If you don't believe me, you could look it up on YouTube and see how it imitates humans. I'll put the link in the description. 
Another thing scientists figured out about this bird is that just like elephants and dolphins, it could remember faces. And if it has seen a person before, it will remember them. If you bothered them, and if he sees you the next time, it will avoid you. You really can't keep crows as a pet, because any opportunity it finds, it will run away. Because it doesn't really need your help to find food, it will find it on itself. Unlike dolphins and elephants, they don't really perform a funeral. But if one of them dies, they huddle around the dead body to find a cause of death. And if there is a danger, they will be careful. After finding the threat, they leave the body on the ground and fly away. And they do not eat the dead body. Just like we said, crows find a partner and live with them for the rest of their life. But if another crow from another group gets close to the female crow, the male viciously attacks that crow. Not like a normal attack, but an attack to death. In a way, if the other bird doesn't fly away, it will for sure die. It gets angry like a rooster and wants to protect its partner. And you could say the other bird stands no chance. Crows remember positive things as well. A lady from the United States tells the story and she says, There's a lot of crows by my workplace and I eat my lunch outside. One time I was eating outside and noticed there is seven or eight crows by a trash can and they're trying to bring something out of it. I went there to see what's going on and I noticed that they're trying to pull out a box of salad. I pulled the box out, put it on the trash can and opened it up and walked away from it. There were eight crows. Four of them flew up to the tree to stand guard. Then the other four started eating from the box. The lady continues and says the four crows that were on top of the tree kept looking at me. And the other four continued to eat. When they got full, they flew up to the tree. Then the other four came down to eat. They ate until the box was empty. The cool part is that in this box, there were some grapes too. At the end, one of the crows brought a piece of grape, dropped it in front of me, and flew away. Holly says, these birds noticed me, and every time I went outside to eat, they would bring me a gift. Leaves, pieces of sticks, and even if they couldn't find anything, they would bring cigarette butts for me. You could say it's kind of like a dog in that department and wants to thank you for what you're doing. There are a bunch of crows everywhere in the world and they're mostly black and they look very similar. Crows live from 10 years old to 22 years old and it depends on the place it lives at. The oldest crow is the Australian crow which can live up to 22 years. The shortest life is the American crow, and it lives up to 8 years. Not only does the Australian crow have a longer lifespan, but it's also way bigger than the American one. What do you guys think about crows? Do you think that they're no good for the environment? If you think that, you are wrong. Just like vultures, they're the vacuum cleaners of nature. Anything that could create disease in the wild, these things clean it up. 